This is just one of the many bus stops within JCPS. With the latest transportation plan decision, some parents are worried their kids now won't have a way to get to school. But there are community members who are stepping up to fill the gap. Jalen Edwards is a former JCPS bus driver. I, don't, I never knew it was my calling until I did it. He says low pay is one of the reasons he left. But as a dad with two kids attending a traditional school, the latest JCPS plan is calling him to hit the road again. He and his partner, Carrington Spaulding, who is a current JCPS bus driver, are starting the Cool Carpool, a paid service to transport magnet and traditional school kids. But having so many children in the JCPS, that really did affect us. And we were like, man, there's a lot of other people it's affecting. They plan to launch with sprinter vans and take on a few routes next school year. And parents are already reaching out. So honestly, I, I feel like my phone has just been ringing nonstop with uh, parents. Timothy Finley, who is running for District 29 state representative and is the CEO of ElderServe, says he's also exploring how he can help. He doesn't want parents to make a choice to pull their child from their school due to transportation issues. I think that this is the resegregation of Louisville, the resegregation of JCPS. And once you pull them, where are they going to go? To a school in their immediate proximity. Elder Serve has two 15 passenger buses he said could be used to transport kids for free. He's trying to get conversations started. We will not simply allow our kids that inequity gap to continue to widen. And once again, nonprofits are being put in a position, especially in marginalized communities, to consider things that we shouldn't really be considering. As the community works to find a solution, Spalding says it's important to do something. I mean, like, hey, you either do something or you don't. Madison Elliott, WLKY News.